<laughs> Choose joy, right? So then later when we um, when we do our brown belt, we learn another principle about choosing, and that's choosing between love and fear, and recognizing it. And I think about you know I left Wednesday because I didn't want to admit that's. That's such a beautiful shift from fear to love. Like, I'm 70, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> and, and that kind of thing can show up so much in our lives. So much. Even in working out or dancing or whatever we do. I know before I found Mia, that going to the gym was more of a choice out of fear than it was out of love. It's like, oh God, if I don't, you know, work out and look bad, blah, blah, blah. you know, and I get on the treadmill and just like headphones with music, TV in front of me, and anything I could do, even I didn't have my phone, anything I could do to pass that 20 minutes if I made it to 20 minutes. Um, and, and there were a lot, of, a lot of choices out of fear. And then finding Dia, it was like, I love doing this. I don't show up because I feel like, oh, if I don't do my six classes a week, I'm going to get flabby. Or uh, I'm, you know, I'm not going to be able to eat that cake afterwards or, or whatever. Right? And I think it happens too, just as we get older, that shifts, that fear and love thing. At least I hope so. Um, I've noticed birthdays can be a really big thing though. It's like, I don't want to say how old I am, or I can't believe I'm this old. And really, with birthdays, there's only one other option. <laughs> right? Right? And with exercise, do we, do we, do we move our bodies to fight and control them? Or do we do it to love them and embrace? Yeah, yeah. So we can take that to a lot of things that we do in our life, a lot of them. And just having that awareness, am I doing this out of love or am I doing this out of fear? Can really guide us on our paths in very, very magical ways, right? And then maybe we come to discover that we are love, right? And that fear is something we can choose not to embrace. It's there for a reason. There are times where it's good. But then all those other times, useless. Maybe we can use that as fuel to enhance our love, right? You know, there's that love your body, ah. It's 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 a nice platitude, right? But I believe that we at least have the choice to move in that direction. To love, where we get that, I think, is through gratitude. It's really difficult to not love this body if we're in that place of appreciation for all it does for us. So let's let that be our intention today. Focus on love and fear with the intention to choose gratitude. All right? All right? Okay. Let's take some steps through space. Open step. This to be true. 
you'll you play my pipe but follow her to the right, shot, 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 close your heart. heart. Forward, right leg starts. 
make your sweet spot. In the front we cross. I am lost on my reverse. Fists pull in and then open again. And realize my mistake. Hands out to the side, swim. My time. Palms up to the 
the side inhale no you are love arms down exhale Let's to peace. hands come together in prayer bring it up dream your sweet dream at the heart we change and we lift till your soul is released inhale palms up no you
to your belly, heart to the earth. Push up to hands and knees. All the way back to your feet. Stand the legs. And stay right here for one moment of reverence, of gratitude for the space that holds you.